Dear students, in this video, I will explain the coordinates of a point in a space. Now, I will explain the method of plotting the point in the three dimensional space. And let us start with the point at origin that is, when x equal to 0, y equal to 0, and z equal to 0, the point is at the origin. And I will fix the point y and z. Just I will change the coordinate of x and if x is positive you can observe that it is a point is on the positive side of x axis and when y and z are 0 and only x changes you will have the point on the x axis and if you take the negative values of x and it is negative side of x axis and uh, let us change the value of y what happens you observe if y is positive then it point is on the positive side of y axis when x and z are 0 and when y is negative the point is in the negative side of y axis. Now I will change the co coordinate of z by fixing the coordinates of x and y as 0 and if I change the value of z positive side is upward and negative side of z is downward and this knowledge you should have while plotting any point x y z now to plot 3 comma 2 comma 4 in the three dimensional space and first you have to move three unit distance in the positive side of x axis like this and after moving three unit distance then you have to move two unit distance in the positive side of y axis then you have to move four unit distance in the positive side of z axis at the end you will get a point p in the three dimensional space and this point 3 comma 2 comma 4 lie in the first octant and you can observe the position of the point in three dimensional space the position of the point is in first octant and if you want to plot any point in a three dimensional space you have to move like this and uh, this is the procedure of plotting the point in 3d now let us take another point that is x equal to 4 y equal to minus 1 and z equal to 3 to plot this point first you have to move 4 unit distance in the positive side of x axis then 1 unit distance in the negative side of y axis and 3 unit distance in the positive side of z axis you will get the point in the space and you can observe the position of the point this point is in the fourth octant. Now let us analyze the nature of coordinates of the point in various octant. And if x, y, z all three are positive, the point is in the first octant. You know the nature of x coordinate and y coordinate in the second quadrant in two dimension. It is x is negative and y is positive. And here also, when x is negative, the point will move to second octant and this is the point. Now let us move the point to the third octant and to get the point, you have to move y in the negative side and you will get the point in the third octant and uh, this is the position of the point that is in the third octant that is x is negative and y is also negative. And to get the point in the fourth octant, x should be positive. That, and you know the coordinate of the point in 2D, that is x is uh, positive and y is negative in fourth quadrant. And similarly, when x is positive and y is negative, the point is in the fourth octant. And this is the position of the point in the fourth octant. And uh, similarly, when z is negative, you will have the other four octant that is when x is positive y is positive and z is negative then it is in fifth octant x negative y positive and z negative then it is in sixth octant when x negative y negative and z is also negative then it is in seventh octant and lastly x is positive y negative and z negative 
then the point is in 8th octet and in this way you can recognize the position of the point just by observing the coordinate of the point and this type of question will be asked in the annual exam and you have to write the position of the point just by observing the coordinate of the point now we have the coordinates of a point in a plane you know that in first quadrant both x coordinate and y coordinates are positive in second quadrant x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive in third quadrant both x and y are negative and in fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative now if you take the three dimensional coordinate system in first octant we have the coordinates of x and y which is similar to the two dimension whereas z coordinate is positive that is in first octant all the three x y z are positive and second octant x negative y and z are positive and in third octant x and y are negative z is positive and in fourth octant x is positive y is negative and z is positive and this you can memorize easily because you know the signs of x and y in two dimension in various quadrants and same with the z positive you will get the signs of the coordinates in first second third and fourth octant and for the next four octant we will have the sign of z is negative and thus it is easy to memorize the signs of the coordinates of the point in various octant and you have to memorize this table it is easy to memorize because you know the signs of x and y in first second third and fourth quadrant and with the z positive you will get the signs in first second third fourth octant and with z negative you will get the signs in fifth sixth seventh and eighth octant and in particular the coordinate of origin are 0 comma 0 comma 0 and coordinate of any point on the x axis will be in the form x 0 0 similarly the point on the y axis will be of the form 0 y 0 and z axis is of the form 0 0 z and the coordinate of any point in y z plane is of the form 0 y z and in the xy plane is of the form xy0 and in the zx plane we will have x0z form and thus it is possible to recognize the position of the point if any triplet of real number is given and with this much i will conclude this video and in the next video i will solve the problems in the exercise thank you